off on YouTube. Just want to show you um, a really, really fantastic way to save a lot of time and effort uh, for all you guys in swimming and around the edges of the gardens. There's these things here called CDA gum. It's a drop of spare. I'll just show you how it works. The capsules are in sealed uh, containers. Uh, they're 750 mils. So one half of the one half of it is uh, a carrier, and other half is the product. So it's important that you give it a really good shake. It's sort of recommended that you shake them for a good couple of minutes to make sure that the products are mixed through. So one of the key benefits of this is there's a really low Rest of the operator because they come in sealed units. So unfortunately, the um, video doesn't really show the the product coming out because it comes out so it comes out so fine. It's really important to have a steady hand. So on this driveway here, I'm just spraying the drive and not actually the grass. Uh, so this is a key thing for this uh, sprayer, is that you can use it on both hard surfaces and soft surfaces. So that's like a, a really big selling point to me. So areas like this here, perfect, and around these posts and stuff, and around the trees, you can do nice, really nice, tidy circle with uh, this machine. I'd just like to point out that you would never spray like a driveway, a driveway around because it's just too expensive. The product's pretty, pretty expensive. Um, I think it's about a hundred pound a box for four of the four of the containers. So you just want to use it for little tricky areas such as these here. So a lot of you guys are probably wanting this and will have a traditional spare or something much like this here. Why can't I use that? You can and you can get these ends. I use this here for whenever I'm spraying driveways and stuff because the uh, the no mix spares is no good for doing um, for doing big areas. But you can never ever get as tidy around the garden and round the edges and a nice round circle around all the trees as you can with the CDA gun. CDA gun is just about accuracy and uh, using very, very small amounts of product. So I use it to spray around the edges of lawns and around floor beds. Well, so I use it to spray around the edges of lawns. If there's stones or anything up the side of a lawn, I'll spray that off. Um, so the best way to sell it to the customer is to say, that if you spray off underneath their plants and their bushes and their shrubs it's far better for the shrubs because the, the weeds and the lawn, the grass isn't competing with, with the shrubs so if you spray on underneath them the shrubs during the summer don't take as much water One well, of the other key bonuses to it is you don't have any strimmer damage, so whenever you're strimming underneath bushes and shrubs, there's a good chance that you're going to damage. You're going to damage the bark and the shrubs and the trees, or else you're going to leave a tuft of grass. That tuft of grass looks really untidy. So we use this here, and we spray underneath, and it leaves a nice round, leaves a nice round spray pattern. Or if we're going, if we're going up edges, it just leaves a nice wee tidy line. Um, saves a lot of strimming. So what I would say to customers is. If I'm doing, uh, if I'm doing around their houses, I'd say look, we'll I'd spray off any weeds around the property as well. So they're getting something for free. It's a massive, massive time saver. So what I found, I use these here. We spray around the vast majority of the gardens. Some customers don't like it. That's fine. We don't do it. Uh, majority of customers are happy enough to let us do it. I saved loads and loads of time. So we go to the lawn. 
will cut the grass. Most of them don't need strimmed, or some of them just need a bit of strimming done, a wee bit of edging around the flower beds and stuff. Because obviously, don't you don't, you're not putting it into flower beds where there's herbaceous plants and. So all it comes down to, if you're putting 10, 20, 30 gardens a day, and you're not having to do, if you're putting 10, so if you're putting 10 or 20 gardens a day, and you're not having to do a lot of strimming around all the gardens, there's only a bit of strimming up here and there, you'll find you squeeze in an extra two or three gardens a day. So that's quite a bit of extra profit on your day. So again, I would stress, sell the benefits to the customer. Say to the customer, look, this is a really good product. It stops the weeds competing with your shrubs. So if you do this here, it's far better. What I've actually found is some customers that are resilient to the start, after a year or two, they're saying, Robbie, that's actually really good. When are you come to do that again? This needs done. So this product here I use, it's called New Mix, No Mix Dual. So it's got glycophyll in it, and it's, which is the, the systemic weed killer, and then it's got a residual weed killer in it as well. So you only need to do this twice a year. Um, the start of the year, you always do a wee bit of strimming, get them under control. Come in as soon as you can. Get these, get these sprayed off of this here, and then halfway through the summer, spread off again. Job's a good one. Generally, the weeds don't start growing again till sort of September, October time. I wouldn't spread off again. I would tend to just strim from that point onwards. So the downside, the downside to using this here, it absolutely has to be done on a dry no windy day you can't use this on a windy day at all because of just the nature of the spray it's a droplet spray and they're very very tiny droplets um and it, if they blow places the, the drift on them there's a high probability that there's going to be drift on a windy day so you're best not using them on a windy day uh, one of the other main considerations is you can't use them if rain is forecast because of the residual element in the weed killer if it rains there's a chance that it's, it will run. So you'll spray a bit and then you come back a couple of weeks later and, and you see you see where it's run. And that area is going to be dead for for quite a while. So it's really important that if you're going to use this here, use it on a dry day.